Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you. In this video, I am capturing my learning essence from Middle Discourses 5. Uh, and this discourse is about blemishes. What are blemishes? Blemishes are unskillful wishes. Now, this discourse was given to mendicants, uh, monks in the Sangha. And uh, Buddha gave, gave the example of a, of a, a blemish as in like an unskillful wish. For example, the mendicant says that if I commit a mistake, uh, others should not find out. Or if I commit a mistake, uh, then I should not be reprimanded in front of the entire Sangha. Or uh, mis uh, something like that, if I, I should get the best food or the best arms food or the best seat or I should get the best appreciation as compared to the others, right? Or I should be allowed to teach the Dhamma to others uh, and not the others. I should be... I should be given the first preference. So all these are like the blemishes, right? Now this is the blemishes for the monks. What about the lay people? Lay people like us also have, you know, the kind of uh, uh, blemishes on us that, you know, we think that we should get the appreciation or we should get the best seat or we should be appreciated or, you know, we, uh, someone comes and appreciates us or, you know, uh, so all these kind of things uh, we also have, uh, you know, we should not be criticized by anyone, right? So, Buddha now says that there are four kinds of people in this world through the analogy of the bronze plate. Now the detailed discourse, you can, this is just the learning essence that I am bringing in this video. For a detailed understanding, I would advise you to read the, the discourse. The link to the discourse is given in the description, right? So what are the four kinds of people? First person is that who has blemishes and who understands that, right? Who understands that he has blemishes. That's the first person. Second is person is who has the blemishes and so first one is who has blemishes and who doesn't understand. That means who doesn't know that he has blemishes. Second is the person who has blemishes and he understands that he has blemishes. Third is the person who does not have blemishes and does not understand that. That means he does not have blemishes and he does not understand that he has blemishes. Fourth is the person who has does not have any blemishes and who understands and who knows that he does not have any blemishes. So here Buddha is saying that the person, Buddha is saying the person who is the fourth number, the person who does first of all, the person who doesn't have a blemish is any, time, any day better than the person who has blemish. Now, even a person who has a blemish and who understands that, who, who doesn't have a blemish and who doesn't understand that he has a blemish, that is point number four. He is better than point number three, where the person does not have a blemish, but he does not understand that, right? Because he does not have a blemish and he knows that he doesn't have a blemish. Now, even between one and two, people who has a blemish but who doesn't understand that and the people who has a blemish and who understands that, Buddha says that per, the person number two who has a blemish, who understands that is better than the person who has a blemish who, and he doesn't understand. Why? Because if you have a blemish, if you have a stain in your mind, a defilement in your mind and if you know that you have this defilement, then you will have the necessary energy. You will rouse the necessary energy. You will do something about it to clear the the defilement, right? If you have a blemish and you do not know that you have a blemish, for example, you have anger or you have this unskillful desire to be appreciated and you do not understand, you do not know, then you will not take any step towards changing your behavior, changing your nature, right? So that is where, so the essence, what my learning here is that start becoming more and more about your blemishes. What is blemish in the normal world um, is our negative qualities, right? Our dark side. See, all of us have a bright side. All of us have a dark side, right? There is no single person who is like only bright, bright, bright. And there is no single person who is only dark, dark, dark. There is like a mix of, you know, and depending upon whatever arises in us at a given point of time, either the bright side arises or the negative side, dark side arises. So what our task is becoming more and more aware of our blemishes, our dark side, and when we are be becoming, when we become aware, we will be naturally able to uh, move forward with energy towards eliminating or clearing the defilements. There is another video I have made on giving up of the defilements, which is, uh, I think, uh, Middle Discourses 2, uh, 7 ways to give up the defilements. You can check the exact link. So that uh, detailed video, how different ways you can give up the defilements, so that I have made, you can check that, right? Some practices what you can do is that we can have our daily practice of meditation, right? 
what meditation i recommend is insight meditation which is in the tradition of the theravada tradition the practice of vipassana meditation i have made videos on insight meditation there is a complete insight meditation playlist that is available so learn insight meditation practice insight meditation every day for developing our mind second practice more and more mindfulness throughout the day so when we are mindful in our walking in our eating at the same time this mindfulness also gets extended to our thoughts so for example even there is this thought that comes that i should be appreciated right someone sh nobody should criticize me then i will be able to mi be mindful of that thought this mindfulness itself this arising of this mindfulness is you know the work is done i mean a lot of I mean, 80% of the work is done by becoming more and more aware of these tendencies that are in us so it's like you know they are no more in the dark now i'll be able to shine my light of awareness on these tendencies right which will be able to clear them so more and more mindfulness then self reflection every day spend some time the best thing the best way what i practice uh, and i use for my self reflection is a daily evening journaling right daily spend some time it may be like as little as 10 15 minutes be with yourself and it may be like after your meditation after your meditation evening meditation be with yourself and just see what needs to be improved what needs to be worked out what tendencies did you exhibit during the day positive as well as negative the positive will help uh, help you you know build the positive the gratitude aspect and the negative will help you know that what needs to be cleared so some form of journaling if you can do that will help uh, seeking feedback from family members from people who you respect as to what changes need to be brought in your conduct on your behavior there are some some small ways that you can work on to remove the blemishes right most important number one is to acknowledge that we all have blemishes we are very rarely is any one of us uh, are in the fourth you know stage that the person is third or fourth that the person doesn't have any blemish we are mostly in the first and second so our first task is basically to be aware that we have blemishes and work at clearing so you have different kind of a blemishes i will have my share of blemishes we all have to work on our so we all have to work on our salvation so buddha's teaching was be your own savior right be your own lamp right so we all have to work out there is no god or there is no some 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 divine intervention that will happen and uh, we will be cleared of our suffering and we will attain liberation no it has to be entirely by our self effort so we have to make our effort in terms of number one acknowledging that i have these blemishes and then working towards clearing those enemies so the spiritual progress that you know what's the measure of a spiritual progress is over time the 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 pull the kind of the pull of these defilements for example anger that gets reduced if they, it is getting reduced then that's a very good sign that there the path that you have cho chosen is working for us right so we will do that and then there is this one thing more that if if you are amongst the very rare ones who do not have blemishes for example if anger is not there in you know that anger is not there in you that also is important right so this will ensure so buddha always said that we have to be mindful of every state of mind so if we are happy we are sad we are mindful that we are sad our state of mind if we are happy we have to be mindful of the state of mind that we are happy if we are neutral still mind still we are, have to be mindful this mindfulness what it will ensure is that our mind will not get corrupted right because if I have no blemish, and I am not mindful. There is still a chance that I might get corrupted. My mind might get corrupted. So the important here, the thing is that even if you don't have the blemish, you are blemish free. Still, we need to have the mindfulness. Mindfulness is like a guard to our sense doors. It prevents any corruption from entering into our mind. So this is just my small learning essence from. Uh, mid, uh, middle discourses five uh, i hope this you found it useful in some way do share do read the discourse at your end and share your thoughts reflections and feedback in the comment section thank you so much for uh, watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye